So, how is everyone? I hope you're all well. So, we've been waiting for this day for a while. And what am I talking about, I hear you say? And I'm talking about the Nicola Bully case and the fact that, look, during that case, for those of you who were following it, you will know that there was a point where it would appear that law enforcement had retaliated to a lot of speculation that was online and they released some very personal information regarding Nicola Bully. Now, that has now been concluded. The investigation into whether they should have action taken against them for releasing that information has been finalised and they're not going to have any action taken against them. All done. Done and dusted. They feel that in this fast-paced case that there was no reason to take any action against them. What do you think about that? Because what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to say... Now, they're saying it was fast-paced. Was it fast-paced? Was it fast-paced? How long did it take them to find Nicola, and where was she found? Now, I'm not going to talk about anything to do with whether they should have found her sooner, because I know the rumour mill is going to be going down the route of she weren't in that water, she was removed, or something was done to her elsewhere and she was put back. Because that's the only reason that some people can understand that law enforcement and Peter Folden didn't find her. Because you think, right, you've got a company who, they, a search and rescue team, they're very good at what they do, they go into the water, they don't find her, Peter Folden himself says that there's no way that she's in the water, and then law enforcement they are supportive of that they you know and so on and so forth they then have this situation where they release this information that peter folden later claims that he wasn't given and had he have been given it then the way in which he searched would have been different and could have given a different outcome so there's that but you think to yourself if you had evidence that was valid for the release and you felt that that could be helpful to the investigation and why not give it to the search team who was looking for her it could be that perhaps they didn't realize that to tell the people who were searching for a specific information such as the fact that she could have entered the water voluntarily was important but you know to, to release the information they did to the public that is a concern and the fact that they have ruled that there should be no further action taken to me is a scary precedent to be set because look what people are going to think now is if they've got someone who's missing if they've got someone who is potentially in a situation where they require assistance but there's perhaps some information about them that they don't want the public to know or the grander audience to know what is going to be the incentive to go to law enforcement to help and assist them to then further find out that in the event that they release some information that they probably shouldn't and it wasn't in the best interest because it wasn't done in order to assist with the finding of Nicola it was done in retaliation to what was being said online that's my personal opinion, and again, I say this a lot, my personal opinion doesn't really mean a lot, but I can't really make sense of it, because if they had this information from the beginning, why not give it to the people who were searching for her? But it didn't. It came out at a time that just happened to go inside with a lot of online speculation and attacks on law enforcement and the competence of them. And, you know, par for the course, I suppose, um, but... At the end of the day, that's where we are now. We're at a situation where it's been concluded, no further action. I want you to let me know down below what you think of it. Now, if you was in a situation where you thought that a loved one was missing um, and you needed assistance, would this put you in a situation where you thought, do you know what, I'm going to get people that I know around me to help and perhaps try and cut law enforcement out? Or would you be happy to let law enforcement involved knowing that they could release some information that you perhaps wouldn't want the wider audience to know. Again, it'd be interesting. But that's the update, short one. We got till June, I believe it's June 26, and we should hear the summary of this case in its entirety and find out exactly what they feel happened. But um, until then, I'll catch you in the next one.